Hello there and welcome to our daily dose. Today is Watering Wednesday, brought to you by Taylor's Holistic Approach Ministries, a ministry focused on gut health and the Word of God. So I pray that um, your week has gone great so far. This is Wednesday, hump day. And it's also midweek worship here at Taylor's Holistic Approach Ministries. Hello, Ms. D. My name is Jenny Taylor Robinson, health coach, founder, and steward for the ministry. So we just pray that uh, you have had a wonderful morning. Come on in the room. Let us know that you're here by entering Watering Wednesday. I want to see those. Good morning, Miss Normie. I want to see those comments say Watering Wednesday. Let me know that you're here with me. Hello, Phyllis. Watering Wednesday. Midweek worship. We're getting ready to talk about uh, water and then we're going to be watered by the Word of God. Good morning, Miss Maya. Okay, I need to see those. Okay, Water Wednesday. Okay, very good. Thank you, Miss Normie. Watering Wednesday. Let me let me uh, see you and who's in the room. Uh, Maya, Miss D. Uh, enter Watering Wednesday in your comments. So I know that you're with me. Watering Wednesday. We're all going to focus on Watering Wednesday. Okay, come on, Miss D. Come on, Maya. Okay, Watering Wednesday. Yes, thank you, Miss D. Yes, come on, let's get together. So while people are coming in, uh, thank you all for entering. Uh, thank you, Miss Normie. And we're just going to go right in and we're going to pray and we're going to jump right in the water. Amen. Gracious Father, we thank you, O oh God, for this wonderful day. We thank you for bringing us midway through our week. You are great and greatly to be praised, and we are just most grateful for you. Your love, your kindness, your tender mercies, um, and we thank you, O oh God, for your patience with us and just your undying, unwavering love that you always show, O oh God, you want the best for us. Help us, O oh God, to be in tune with you and want the best for ourselves. Bless those who are viewing today and afterwards. We just love and praise and thank you. In Jesus' name, we give you all the glory. And we say that it is already done as far as our good health. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Good morning, Sharita. Good to see you. Today is Watering Wednesday. So I want everybody as they come in and your comments, comment Watering Wednesday. Today we're going to talk about water and then we're going to be saturated in the Word of God. Okay, so moving on. So we've talked about water. Um, hey, Miss Emma. Nice to see you on. Okay, if you guys in your comment would... Um, uh, in your comments, enter Watering Wednesday. Okay, amen, amen, Miss D. So every day we have a different focus, and today our focus is hydration. On Wednesdays, we always talk about hydration in some form. So we've talked about how important water is to the body. Uh, thank you, Sharita. And we've talked about different ways that we could get hydration through certain vegetables, certain fruit, and we've talked about, uh, last time we were together, we talked about flavored water and all kind of seltzer waters. So today we're gonna talk about alkaline water. So does anybody um, who's viewing, have you ever drank or do you drink alkaline water? And if so, uh, what was your reason for starting to drink it? And so while you're into that, I'll tell you my, take my little story on it. Uh, hi, Miss Emma. So, um, when I first heard about alkaline water and, you know, there was this hype around it, I really didn't hear about, like, the health benefits that it claimed uh, to give. I just thought, okay, another water. And so, but then, um, you don't drink alkaline water? Okay. So, Miss Norma says, no, she doesn't drink alkaline water. 
So a few months ago, uh, probably toward the end of last year, um, I was shopping at Costco and then I saw this beautiful blue bottle and it was alkaline water and it was, uh, it was this bottle as a matter of fact. And it said um, pH and uh, it says 9.5 plus. So, you know, I do what norm normal consumers do. I bit, well, I drank. <laughs> And so, uh, uh, Sharita says, yes, it's delicious. It feels very refreshing and I feel the hydration. Okay, Miss D says, saw it uh, at 99 cent store, uh, so I tried it. Tastes no different. Okay, very good, very good. Keep those comments coming. So I thought, you know, with the, with the eye-catching blue bottle, and uh, I just thought, oh, okay, let, I'm just gonna try and see what's up with this hydration. And just thought, you know, I'd just be doing, you know, stepping my water game up a little. Didn't expect anything else but hydration. So when I began to, um, I bought like about like two cases of this. And then I also was curious, so I bought Costco's brand, the Kirkland brand, um, water. So I decided to see, you know, if there was a difference. Didn't, you know, taste any difference or anything like that. So when I decided to start researching for this particular show, I was like, well, let me, let's just see since we are, um, thank you, Phyllis, happy watering Wednesday to you. So I was just like, okay, let me do some research. Let me, you know, do some reading, look at some videos and just try to see like, you know, what's really up with, uh, this alkaline water. So I looked at three different sources and so I am going to tell you what they said about alkaline water. So the first one was this video clip from a Dr. Oz show. And so he had this doctor, this family doctor on there named Jennifer Claudel. And so the topic, um, Sharita said, I started with MCBC and health fair and this guy had a booth talking about it. He had a machine that made alkaline water. Uh, okay, yeah, um, that was, I, I watched a video where somebody else had like, they looked it up on Amazon and they had this um, machine that made alkaline water and it was like $1,500. Yeah, so anyway. Um, so then uh, the topic of the Dr. Oz show was, does alkaline water actually improve your health? So that was the thing, uh, that was the debate of, you know, let's really answer this question. So um, there was claims that it protects against obesity, that it helps neutralize your body, it slows down the aging process and provides more energy. Um, it's... Um, and it says it keeps your body um, automatically balanced. It balances your pH levels. It, um, it's more hydrating. It can reduce heartburn, acid reflux. Overall, a real, you know, there's, and so they were like, you know, doing all these claims, even claimed that it could cure cancer and just, you know, all kinds of things about, about this special alkaline water. So uh, I'm just going to tell you what each the results of each of these sources and then we'll we'll chat. So the doctor on the show was saying there's really no scientific evidence that alkaline water is any more um, healing or any more hydrating than just regular water. They are the I guess it's like they've done tests and tests and tests, but they really can't uh, find a test or a study that supports all of the health claims that these people make. And there was even like a video of this uh, guy who was on there and he was just telling, you know, it can do this and this and it's good for your skin. And he's telling all these things. And it was actually in another video, these guys were showing, this one guy was showing all of these things that he had real, um, that he had experienced where looking up alkaline water to see if, you know, it had any uh, substance to all of these health claims that they were saying. So um, the conclusion was on the Dr. Oz show that um, they, they had this little, you know, Dr. Oz, he always does these, these um, little examples. So they had like a, a dish with regular water and then they had a dish with alkaline water. And the doctor there, Dr. Jennifer was saying the alkaline water was uh, made with um, purified water, 
calcium chloride, magnesium sulfate, potassium, and sodium bicarbonate, which is just baking soda. So, but they said the only thing that could possibly be beneficial with, with drinking alkaline water is the acid reflux thing, you know, the acid to, you know, just kind of like to get rid of the acid if you had like heartburn and stuff. Okay, the next one, the next source, the topic was, is alkaline water really better for you? And um, it says alkaline water um, is just treated water and so it's just uh, a basic pH. So water has a medium pH. So pH balances, pH measures the acidity. So it goes from zero to 14. So with zero being real acidic and 14 less. So water falls in the middle. Water has a pH balance of seven. So notice on both of these bottles that I got, one says 9.5, they both say 9.5. 9.5 okay uh, so um, they said that um, the claim that it makes uh, acidic body becomes alkaline so the resulting claim would leave you more healthy and more hydrated they said that it would prevent bone loss cure cancer um, again there is no um, study that really can substantiate these claims. Uh, they haven't done any kind of testing or anything that actually uh, makes these things uh, legit, okay? And then um, there was this one doctor who was really uh, too much. <laughs> the topic of his uh, video, it says, drinking alkaline water is dumb. A doctor reacts to stupid health fads. And this doctor was, he calls himself Z Dog MD. And so he says, um, uh, you know, you can tell from the title that, you know, the video was crazy, but he he just was just going off on like, you know, it's ridiculous. There's, you know, you can't just drink alkaline water and expect all of these things. It just doesn't make any sense. So, you know, looking back um, in my health coaching school, and they were talking about, you know, acidity and heartburn, and it tells how the, um, the body processes food and how when it gets to your stomach, all of these acids come in. Um, and, uh, and then also they have this bar bicarbonate that comes in to protect your stomach lining. But we have acid in our stomach that, um, that does this and in, in our, um, each enzyme that's in our bodies requires a different pH. So our body does goes through these pH balance phases itself. It depends on what you're eating and what you're drinking and everything. So alkaline water really, um, they said in the studies that they did, the difference, if it made any difference at all, uh, wasn't much, wasn't worth the cost, worth the price. It was, you know, if you just drink, you know, regular water, stay hydrated, um, you have just as many health benefits. We've gone over the health benefits of, you know, just drinking regular water on a daily basis because it helps um, everything in our body flow correctly, including our blood. It helps nutrients flow through our muscles and our bones. So just drinking um, regular water is good. But if you, you know, if you like alkaline water, you like some people water have different tastes it just depends on you know the treatment so if you just you know if you feel like it's hydrating you more if it feels like you know you just want to keep on doing it then you know it's no hurt it doesn't hurt um just you know just a little bit more money that's all because uh, i know when i bought the cases of alkaline water the ph um, which stands for pure hydration or perfect hydration, perfect hydration. Um, this bottle, it's a pretty big bottle, but it was like, I think between 10 and $12 for a case. And I think it was like 12 in a case. And then with the Costco brand, it was, I think maybe, um, 18 or more in a case. And it was like, I think like $5, you know, Costco brands always cheaper. Uh, so, you know, again, I didn't know about the health claims 
and I didn't feel any different. I just thought, you know, like I said, I was just kicking up my water game. So if you are drinking hydrating um, alkaline water, it's, you know, um, it's great. Uh, hello, Miss Mary. If you're drinking alkaline water, it's great if that's what you want to keep on doing. But just know if you run out and you want to drink just regular water, um, that's fine too. Okay, so any questions, any comments? Um, so Norma says that she had not tried it. And Sharissa says she drinks it. And uh, Miss D says she drank it. So anybody else online have ever drank uh, alkaline water? And if you did start to drink it, then why? You know, why did you purchase it? Did you hear about the health benefits that, you know, it's good for your bones, it's good for your health, it's good for curing cancer, it's good for acid reflux? all of the things that they had made claim to. So, Ms. Sharita, uh, the, the alkaline water machine that you saw at the health fair, how much was they selling it for? Were they selling it for just like the whole machine or was it, you know, did you have to like buy a subscription to something? How were they selling the particular uh, water? So while I'm waiting on answers, um, another thing they said about alkaline, the alkaline craze is based on this old acid-ash hypothesis. So it's um, acid-ash hypothesis that the more acidic body leads to, a more acidic body leads to diseases like cancer and osteoporosis. Uh, the idea is to raise the body's pH in order to counteract the acidity. Um, so, hypothetically, it makes sense, but the body, like I said, um, has several pH levels and uh, it depends on what these enzymes come in contact with, whether they raise the pH or lower the pH. So, um, if I hope that has helped you in your water journey. Sharita said he wasn't selling the machine. We only had to bring him a gallon of pure water and he turned it into alkaline water. Okay, all right. So um, then I, had, I saw another um, video where this guy was, you can find videos on YouTube where they're making alkaline water and some of them are simply just putting baking soda, you know, in water and I don't, I don't know the, the process, but some of them are just adding baking soda to water to uh, change the pH level. Okay, so that is a Watering Wednesday. I hope that and this has helped you and I hope you have learned something from it. And I hope that you keep on hydrating. Um, whether it's alkaline or whether it's regular water, we need water every day. And we all know it just depends on the situation, whether it's eight, eight ounce glasses, whether it's half your body weight in ounces. If you don't drink water at all, you know, drink at least one bottle a day and then just work your way up. We talked about previous before adding ice and fruit to your water, drinking hot water, warm water, as long as you get water. Uh, on a regular basis. Sharita said um, he has a store and he does the whole uh, what's that? Whole foot sock where the water turns brown. Yeah, I don't know. When it comes to uh, foot soak, okay. So when it comes to studies about anything, you can find, you know, pretty much well anything, any kind of study that's gonna support uh, what you what you do. So he probably saw something and somebody told Tim and he thought, oh, this is great, this is awesome. Um, but always, you know, try to do your research and see if there's any really scientific support, um, legitimate reports that says, yes, the claims are, you know, what it says it is. So the word for today comes from somebody who is near and dear to my heart. Uh, I have had three pastors in my lifetime. My father, who has gone on to be with the Lord years ago, back in, I believe, 98, June 24th, 98. 
And uh, then uh, when I moved out here to California, uh, Pastor Claiborne Lee, I joined Mount Calvary and he was my pastor. And then when his son took over, Pastor Claiborne Lee Jr., he it was my pastor when I was in um, Northern California. So today's word comes from Dr. Claiborne Lee Jr. It comes from Nahum, the third chapter, verses 12 through 13. And the topic, his sermon topic is trouble at the gate. So I will post this in the comments after I sign off. I hope you will be blessed by it. Uh, he is an awesome, awesome man of God. He is uh, profound and prolific in his speaking. So I can't wait for you to hear it and to be blessed on this Wednesday, on this Watering Wednesday, to be watered by the Word of God brought to you by Dr. Reverend Dr. Pastor Clayton Lee Jr. All right. So tomorrow, tomorrow is um, Thursday. So it is What's the Herb Thursday. We are going to introduce a new herb of the week, tell you it benefits, and maybe talk about, you know, some ways that we could use it. We are here on a daily basis giving you daily doses of goodness for your health journey. Again, I am Jetty Taylor Robinson, health coach, founder, and steward for Taylor Holistic Ministries, a ministry that is focused on your gut health and our God. God bless and keep you, and we will see you again tomorrow.